Hi friends, how are you all? Welcome back to Soulful Knowledge. So in my channel, I'm posting regarding Kundalini Awakening and Spiritual Awakening. So if you're interested in this, you can follow my channel. Plus I'm making in two languages, in Tamil as well as in English. So if you wanted to check only in English version, you can check my playlist, Soulful Knowledge English. So today I'm going to uh, discuss about the most requested uh, concept and it's a very important concept to understand in spiritual awakening. So I'm going to tell about twin flames and soulmates. So many of them have made video regarding twin flames. But today I'm going to tell what is twin flames and the difference between the twin flames and soulmates. So many of them who are not spiritually awakened, who have not understood the soul, they will not accept the fact that we have a soulmate or we have a twin flames. So today I'm going to give the clarification regarding do we really have something called soulmates or twin flames? So what are these? And most important thing is what is the difference between the twin flames and soulmates? Actually, many of them are getting confused between the twin flames and soulmates. So today I'm going to clarify all these doubts. This actually uh, twin flames and soulmates, it is a complicated subject. So if you if you wanted to know about that cl clearly and with clarity, you actually need to know few concepts which I have already explained in my videos. We have to know about three concepts. So the first one is about the frequency. So frequency, as I said, it is the Kundalini Chakra, the seven sets of chakras. So as we know, her human body is framed in this seven frequency. And each chakra has each color and each vibrant frequency. We are vibrating in a specific frequency. Each frequency has a special personality and characteristic. So all these I have explained in many videos in Kundalini chakras and Kundalini uh, videos in spiritual awakening and Kundalini awakening. You can check my previous videos. So this is the first concept we need to understand. So the second thing is we need to know about masculine and feminine energies. So this also I have explained in my previous videos. You can check that. So people who have not seen those videos, I'm going to tell in a brief. So what is masculine and what is feminine? So a male can also be a feminine. A female can also be a masculine. It is, it is not subjective to male or female. So masculine is like a conscious mind. So feminine is more of the subconscious. It is heart based. So it is a two types of energies compensating each other. So masculine is more of the logical thinkers and feminine is more of emotional and heart based. So these are the two types of energies. So the third one is the positive, negative and neutral energies. So this is also a very important concept. So in spiritual awakening, not only the chakras, kundalini and also not only about the masculine and feminine. So this positive, negative and neutral energies are also very important. So I've never uh, made a video regarding this. In future, definitely I'll make this video. So each energy, that is each positive, negative and neutral energy, each energy is very important and each has a separate powers for it. So we cannot tell positive is good and negative is bad. It's not like that. If we, have in, we, if we are incarnated to this materialistic world, we have to undergo these three energies, positive, negative and neutral. It's like uh, protons, neutrons and electrons. If the, these three are very important to form a physical reality, that's how we have formed the uh, atoms okay so that these three are very important aspects so it has uh, so much of details in that so i'll explain that in a separate video so now you basically you just understand the positive negative and neutral energies so these con three concepts are very necessary to understand about twin flames and soulmates one is the frequency another one is the masculine and feminine and third one is the energies first i'll explain about the twin flames so what is known as twin flames twin flames are like two different energies which are coming together to as a partner 
they can be as a lovers or they can be as a husband and wife so in this materialistic world we have come together as karmic partner so karma means it's materialistic to do some action if we have to come to materialistic world we have to be in a karmic mode we have will have karmas so twin flames are also known as karmic partner so why they have established is for this materialistic world we are in a timeline that these two karmic partners are coming in contact with each other so we are in this timeline thus this two types of energies are getting contacted with each other the reason is if you see these two energies they are completely contrast energies it is like yin and yang are coming in contact with each other so yin and yang you have seen that the symbol like night and day these two energies are coming to contact with each other as a partners so these two are completely like opposite poles one may be negative one may be positive one may be masculine one may be feminine and the frequency also varies the frequency cannot be the same frequency one may be in lower frequency one may be in the upper frequency so this is like we have come together to have an materialistic establishment really to satisfy our materialistic desires these two energy have to come together because the power is distributed so one one partner may have luck luck based karma so another partner may have hard work based karma so these two have to come together so that only can have a highly successful materialistic life so if they are working separately suppose luck based people are working separately and hard work hard work people are working separately they will not have an fully successful life so hard work people must also have luck to actually bring out their hard work to get the profits from their hard work people who are luck they need someone who has to give that luck and to progress with that luck so that's how these two personalities are contrast in nature and they when they come together they'll become a whole they'll become a they'll compensate each other they will actually like complement each other to grow in their materialistic life so why these two people are getting attracted is in if you see materialistic you see uh, you will understand that the positive and negative energies will attract each other so this is a physical term we know that that opposite forces attract each other and same uh, forces will actually repel each other so positive and negative in this materialistic world it will attract each other that's why they will compensate each other they will become as a whole so if you see mind wise also it is completely different for one will be having a straight forward mind uh, highly emotional and heart based another another will be more of indirect mind the manipulation mind uh, it will be most of uh, consciousness and logical thinkers it will it is a contrast version and since the frequency is low and i one will be the giver and another one will be the enjoyer or taker so this is how the twin flames are uh, becoming a partner becoming a family becoming a lover so to establish a materialistic uh, way they have come together they will actually share their energies and will actually compensate each other still physical realization everything will be smooth but until this what happens is their soul cannot be connected it is just a physical energy connection they cannot be connected with the soul the soul connection will never happen in twin flames it is just a physical energy connection the soul is completely different so until everything will be smooth they will be highly successful until they are in a physical realization so, but once soul realization happens everything will actually collapse this twin flames i can i can actually compare it to quantum entanglement if you see quantum entanglement uh, it is like a particle 
it is like a pad particle which is selected from the same space it is taken and if you actually the entanglement is done in such a way the two particles or two electrons are actually revolving in opposite direction if one revolves from top to down another one will revolves from down to top so this is how the two energies are the opposite energies and they are paired together and they are revolving in the opposite direction so the same thing is happening with the twin flames so once one of the tw uh, twin flame partner their energy is like traveling from top to down that is the kundalini frequency is tra traveling from top to down and another one is traveling from the uh, bottom to top that is if the masculine is traveling from top to down the feminine is traveling from bottom to top that's why most of the feminine energies are getting the soul realization it is like the night is ending and the day is awakening so the feminine energies are getting awakening in the daytime so masculine energy spin is coming down it's the frequency is lowering down and the feminine energy is getting awakening in the daytime so it is actually like a contract base so these two souls of different types of souls have come together to establish a materialistic life and to actually compensate to each other to understand to realize the soul so one of the soul is actually their time is uh, getting over and it is actually helping another soul to awaken its to realize its soul so that's how the twin flames are very important to establish in this world but we cannot tell all the twin flames are soulfully they are uh, spiritually awakening or uh, they are separating but once the soul realization happens heartbreak happens only soul realization happens once this happens what will happen is these two energy will actually repel each other because soul realization cannot attract with the opposite energies it should need the same energy so plus when soul realization happens both will be then the same frequency so in twin flames uh, it does not allow to be in the same frequency either it should be lower or upper so when they actually meet in the same frequency the ego clashes and the ego based karma doesn't allow them to stay together it will it will just repel them apart so that's why until the uh, soul realization everything will be smooth but once soul realization happens spiritual awakening happens the both minds will understand the soul and the actually the uh, rival part and that repulsion part will happen both will become like enemies they'll start fighting with each other the both minds they'll start with fighting with the both the minds that is masculine and feminine minds will fight with each other so it will not allow to stay uh, in the same place also it is very difficult in these two karmic mates to stay in the same place so what happens is they will get separated but it not necessary it can happen with everyone because the frequency may differ so people who are experiencing this only they can actually understand what uh, really about what is tw twin flames so others may not actually fully understand about twin flames so this is only actually known as twin flames so twin flames is like a karmic partner to have a materialistic establishment we have incarnated to this uh, world and in the time lapse we are actually meeting at this point so it is not the same as before every time this will not happen let's say 10000 years before these two energies is, will be actually in uh, two end of the world so these two will uh, two end of the world they will not actually come into contact and if so they comes into contact uh, they will be like rivals fighting each other so 5000 years before uh, these two energies positive and negative energy will has been in uh, one extended uh, frame let's say in same they would have been in same country same place not that close as partners now but now in this time frame this two positive and negative are like clinging into together are like joining hands with together 
to work together because each energy is actually compensating with each other to realize the soul. So, when you realize of the soul, uh, what happens is again you will become like rivals fighting with each other because the one is ego based will be in ego based karma, one is will be love based karma. So, both the energies try to separate, will, they will be separated. Then after that, realizing the soul, you will actually uh, try to find your soulmates. So this can happen before marriage. Uh, you can have a heartbreak with karmic mates. But after marriage, it is a very difficult phase when you have a karmic mate as a partner after marriage. So the separation is really the heartbreak will happen. And finding uh, the soulmates, it's a uh, difficult task in this world. So now you would have understood what is karmic mates or twin flames. So now what is soulmates? So if you see soulmates, soulmates should have the same energy. It is like the same soul. That is if they are positive, both should have the positive energy. If they are negative, both should have the negative energy. But karmic mates or uh, twin flames are different. Uh, one will have the negative energy, one will have the positive energy. One is masculine and one is feminine. But soulmates should, should have the same energies. One is should be positive energy. But the it is like having the same soul but split into two. One is masculine and fe feminine. It is like a same body but two minds, masculine and feminine. So that is known as soulmates. Not only that, the frequency also should be the same. If you are in Vishuddhi, both the mates should be in Vishuddhi. If you are in like third eye, both the mates should be in third eye. So that's how uh, the soul mates work. Because it is beyond this materialistic perspective. So it is like in like it's like a spiritual thing. So soul mates are highly spiritual because they go beyond this materialistic perspective. So both should have same energies, same frequency. And different, it is split into two, that is masculine and feminine. So, for example, you can take like Shiva and Shakti. So, both are same, they, they are like same bodies, but just the two split is happening, the masculine and feminine. They are having the same positive energy. The same will apply with the negative also. So, this is the difference between the uh, twin flames or karmic mates with the soul mate. So, soul mate... Uh, so this is the basic understanding I've given about the soulmate. The more intense subject, it is a more highly uh, spiritual and in intense subject. I will explain about this uh, soulmate in a separate video. So now I have clearly told what is the difference between karmic mates and soulmates. So karmic mates, it's like a twin flame. They are established to form the materialistic establishment. They will compensate with each other, but their soul cannot be connected because they are having the two different energies. The soul energy cannot be connected. Only the materialistic magnetic field energies will be connected. Another one is soul mate having the same energy and same frequency and it is split into two halves, masculine and feminine. So these are the differences. So okay guys, I think all this information would have been useful for you all. So thanks for watching. So this is Shobna. Bye from Soulful Knowledge.